to his brothers, he says, watch this, I've, I've dreamed a dream, and it's a repetitive dream. I just, I, I've not just had one dream, but I keep having these dreams. And in fact, the dreams that I have are progressive. It's, it started out in one place, but it's a progressive dream because God continues to build on what he initially showed me. Y'all ain't hearing me. And, and what God keeps showing me is, is that I'm going to have authority over you. And he uses the word obeisance. And the word obeisance deals not only with authority, but suggests that one will bow to another. And then there is the extension of Joseph's dream. Watch this. In verse 5, he's talking about a dream. In verse 9, he says, I'm having another dream. Are y'all helping me here? Now, now you got to see this. He gets to verse 9 and he says that, that, that my dad, my, my mom, my, 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 my 11 brothers, 11 stars represent his brothers, will bow down to me. you got to see the significance of verse 9. That he's not just having one dream, but it's a progressive dream. But, but what God is suggesting is that as long as Joseph is willing to dream and accept what he's, he's being saying from God, God will keep giving him revelation. It is a good thing to have just an initial dream, but, but if you can handle having multiple dreams and visions from God, God will allow you to keep on dreaming. I the problem with some folk is that they see things initially, but they cancel out the success of what they see because they don't believe it can happen to them. Yeah. That some folk can accept success in another person's life, but when it comes to your life, you don't see yourself becoming successful because you believe that there are too many things standing in your way. Yeah. Maybe if I don't believe in nobody else, I believe in me. Yeah. I don't need crowd. I pat my own self on the back. I encourage myself because I know that the best way to get to where I'm supposed to be is I've got to learn how to talk to myself. I'm preaching but you won't help me. Folks say you're crazy if you talk to yourself. I say you're crazy if you don't. You, you got to encourage yourself. You got to tell yourself I've had some setbacks but I'm going to keep on going. I haven't made it yet but I'm going to keep on moving because if you learn how to encourage yourself then you won't be disappointed when other folks don't encourage you because you can make it based upon what you believe about your own situation. Is there anybody in here that believes you're going to make it? Is there anybody in here that believes that you're not a mess up, you God's best? Is there anybody who can not believe that God has given greatness into your life and in spite of your present circumstances, where you are has nothing to do with where you live? So I, I want you to see Joseph. 
have to be willing to, to, to pay the cost in order to be successful. Really, when he has these dreams, it is not just about God giving Joseph empty authority. It's about God providentially placing Joseph's life in a position where he could rescue his family and, and, and bring about, yes, a, a means of preserving the whole family of God, which, which will bring forth the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. Have I got any help in here? But, but even though God shows him, and I want you to catch this, God, God gives him revelation, insight, dreams, if you please, concerning what he would become. Are y'all with me? God does not, he does not, yes, yes, I said it, he does not give Joseph revelation concerning the plan <laughs> that he has in place concerning how he's going to take him and make him into what he has shown him. Have I got any help in here? He releases revelation to Joseph in parts, mainly because Joseph is 17 years old. And God is protecting his purpose from his immaturity. I said something, but you didn't catch it. That God is protecting his purpose from his immaturity. Because it's not that what God is showing him is a valid, it's that he's so immature that if God hands the whole thing to Joseph at 17, it'll wreck his life. So he shows him revelation in parts because he can't handle the whole thing. Are y'all in here? Now, can I just prove his immaturity real quick? He, he's, he's, he's immature because Joseph does not see that his dreams will infuriate and provoke his brothers into hating him. And, 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 and he thinks that because he's had a dream that they're going to buy into what God has shown him. And he never considers that the communication of his dream is considered an insult to the structure of his family. Now the only way that Joseph can become the head of his family that everybody above him has to die first. Y'all ain't hearing me. And when Joseph starts talking about what he's going to become and they feel that his becoming great is inclusive of their demise, they start hating Joseph for what he sees. Have a look at suggesting that what Joseph sees he should be ashamed of. No, I'm not suggesting that what Joseph sees from God that he should hide it. But I, I gotta be honest with you, there's some things you can't tell of the father. I'm gonna make my own self happy. There's some things God shows you you can't show other folk because they can't handle what God is showing you. Sometimes you gotta learn how to hear it and just shut up. Just keep your mouth shut up. Look at you say, what? I know I can't tell you. <laughs> All I can tell you is I'm about to blow up. <laughs> you see me today, but check me out some time from now. And the person I am today is not who I'm going to be tomorrow. I wish I could tell you, but if I tell you, I'd have to kill you. So just watch what God is going to do with me. And when you see me again, know that I didn't do it. It happened because of the hand of God. You can't tell everybody in your home business because some folk can't handle what God has said to you. The 
traditionalism of the denomination are churches that are willing to pay the cost. Are churches that are willing to look different from another church. Churches that are not wanting, wanting to be described by how other churches are described. Can I preach like a When I was a little boy, they used to tell me that, that and they told me in, in elementary school that when you get a coloring book and colors, that, that, that the goal, the objective is to color in the minds. And, and, and the way they even determine, yes, your aptitude is by your ability to color within the minds. Can I tell you, God is looking for a church that don't want to color in the mind. Because when you color outside of the mind, it says something about your creativity and your ingenuity. When you color outside the lines, you make other folks uncomfortable because all they know how to do is color in the mind. But when you color outside the lines, it means you see something that other folks don't see. Kind of got to be helping here. And God is not calling for a carbon copy of anybody. God is calling for somebody who is unique and different. And if child is just supposed to be like any other, every other church, then you probably not going to be successful. But when you find your gift center and determine what God wants to do with you, that's when you're going to be a church like you. You all not sing like everybody else. You all not worship like everybody else. There ought to be something different about you that stands out, that makes me want to be a part of your church.
cost Nelson Mandela 27 years of incarceration on Robin Island. It cost Martin Luther King his life at the Lorraine, Lorraine Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. In case you don't know how expensive dreaming is, it cost Jesus his life. Home challenges are the salvation of humanity. And if Jesus paid the cost, you better know we gotta pay some too. Have a nice day. Outside of the box to do what you believe you, you can 